Oop, that was a hit. There we go. <laughs> Ooh, it's not a baby. It is not a baby. Yo, 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 welcome back to another episode. We are up in our favorite place, Cape Cod, first trip of the year. It is mid-May. It is an absolutely beautiful day. Just got to our first spot on the south shore of Cape Cod. From what we've been reading, what we've been hearing, the schoolies are here and uh, slot fish as well. So we are gonna be fishing this little inlet. It is low tide right now. I can smell it, but in about 30 minutes, tide's gonna start moving in. Hopefully that means the bait's moving in and the stripers are right behind them. So stay tuned. Let's see if we can catch some fish. All right, as we were getting set up, this guy across from us is hooked into one. Certainly a good sign, fellas. We might have picked the right spot. <clears throat> of course, he's using live bait, which is always a little bit easier. All right, we're starting out with that white savage bait. Gonna try to work the bottom of the water column to start. And we're fishing with our light tackle here. This is blind. Yeah, there we go. Wind is howling here, guys. I'll tell you what, too, there's a lot of grass. A lot of grass. Look at this. This might be a little problem. We might have to remedy guys that guy caught a pretty big fish look at that that's a that's a slot fish or bigger we're gonna make our way out on this point yeah that's a nice size fish guys look at this water moving right here this is crazy it is still pouring in Guys, that guy caught a chunky bass. Oh man, there is so much grass here. This is insane. Guys, there is so much grass here. I think the only real solution is going to be to throw a top water. Hate to break it out middle of the day. But honestly, I don't. I actually know exactly what we're gonna change to. We just gotta get weedless. Too many weeds. We're thinking something like that. Something that can clearly, you can bury that hook, make it weedless. I think that's the solution here. Even though this thing is a little light and it's gonna get tossed around. All right, folks, we're going with that weedless tail spinner. There are so many weeds here. We need something to get through. I think this is the solution. This thing's also getting caught up with weeds. It's crazy. All 
All right, so we tried that little shoal. Didn't catch anything. We're now gonna walk this way and fish this pencil popper. This pencil popper is getting through these weeds better than any other bait. I'd honestly rather be throwing a jig right now. Just give it into the middle of the day. But there are just so many weeds. It's gonna make that absolutely miserable. All right, we're pulling out of our first spot. There were just too many weeds. We could not work that jig. Couldn't work the tail spinner. Working the top water was fine, but I don't think these fish are feeding on top water this time of day. So we are gonna drive a little bit and try to find a spot that's not getting pounded by the wind. I have a couple spots in mind, but we gotta do something about this because we're not gonna be catching fish with that many weeds in the water. We saw that guy right across from us who was using live bait, probably burying that hook and he was catching fish like every five or 10 minutes. So there's definitely fish here. We just have to find a spot where there's no weeds in the water. So let's see what we can do. All right, we're in a much better spot now. Way less grass, way less wind. We have about 20 minutes north. Fishing a similar little inlet but the conditions are in our favor this time. We're gonna be able to work this jig on the bottom as this tide rolls in. Gonna try to change the retrieve, slow roll it. Gotta find where these fish are. Still got some grass here, but it is not anywhere as bad as it was in that last spot. Had some bait, chase that in. Looked like pretty small, whatever it was. Not the worst sign. Wind is howling in here. I'm actually a little shocked that there's not more grass like that last spot. Oop, that was a hit. There we go. <laughs> there we go, baby. Doesn't seem like a monster. Hit that, hit that once and then came back and found it again. Ooh, it's not a baby. It is not a baby. Yeah, that's a pretty good sized fish, guys. That's probably a slot fish. Ooh. First Cape Cod striper of the year. Solid fish. Got those sea lice on him. He is fresh. Not a holdover. Let this guy go. Come on, buddy. 
Get them facing up current. There he goes. Thirty one incher. <laughs> Almost over in the new slot limit. That's a good way to start. All right, guys, stripers are here. That felt good. It's always tough when you don't catch one in that first spot. Start to lose faith, start to doubt your plan. But we adapted, we found a similar spot that was out, or not out of the wind, but just didn't have grass, allowing us to work this, this jig. I knew this was gonna work this time of year. This time of day, I should say. All right, little re-rig. We switched to the nine foot surf rod little extra length and we have the uh, the bigger savage bait on we just want to be able to cover some more water reach the middle of this inlet and that's gonna allow this us to do this yeah we can launch this get about an extra 20 yards per cast it's gonna make this much more fishable We're just working the savage bait in this fast current right by this inlet. Oop, that's a fish. Oh, ho, 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 ho. damn. Picked that up and dropped it. I'm kind of fishing this how you'd fish it in the canal. Just lifting it up, letting it move with the current. Picking up a little slack, lifting it, picking up a little slack. When you pick it up and it's really heavy, usually means there's a fish. Make a little walk. Tide's been rolling in here for about four hours. Figured these fish might be making their way to the back of the bay at this point. There's some better high tide spots if we walk a bit back this way. We know there's fish here. There's less grass, very fishable. So I'm willing to stick it out, try some new spots. It's a beautiful spot though, man. And what an absolutely gorgeous day, 75. I've got shorts on, I didn't even wear waders and I feel perfect. Just a really, really cool spot. Got the place to myself. All right, we're gonna make our way out in this point and fish this deeper water. You can see here, might get a little chilly because we're gonna have to get a little bit deeper, but that is all right. Yeah, guys, there might be a lot of grass back in this creek. This might be where all the grass is for this guy. Still gonna make a few casts since we walked all the way out here. Well, I don't have the utmost faith in this spot if we're gonna be snagging grass every cast. I 
like that. <laughs> That's like what we had last, uh, that first spot we were fishing. It is just not ideal. Yeah, guys, we learned our lesson. We're getting away from this grass. It just makes it impossible to fish. All right, we walked a little bit further. We're gonna give this pencil popper a few casts on this point. There's a little drop off right here, as you can see where it gets darker. We just wanna give this spot what it's due. We've caught fish right here before. And there's no better way to cover water than with this pencil popper. Pencil popper is about the same size of those savage eels I was just using. And man, this water is so calm. It's like the first spot we fished all day that's out of the wind. So I think any striped bass cruising in this area are going to hear the commotion of this Yozuri pencil popper. It's got those nice rattles. It's chugging, it's walking. It's perfect. All right, we're back to our original strategy. Got the jig, fishing this moving water by the inlet. Just spent about 30, 40 minutes trying the back of the bay, seeing if we can get anything to hit top water. Nothing. So we're just gonna sit back here, fish the rest of this incoming tide. Oh, that was a hit, guys. Oh, man. Oh man. Oh. <coughs> God. <coughs> All right, we know they're here. Get it right back out there where they were. I'm still launch this thing pretty far. I just wonder we're not trying to cut through the wind. Man, this water is a moving. We got the wind howling in right to left. We got the tide moving in right to left. And every time I lift my bait, it moves about a yard to my left. Don't even have to work my bait. It's gonna work itself. I mean, this is like a river, guys. Go fast, some of the seaweed is moving past me. <laughs> I really need to send my bait up upstream so it gets a good drift. All right, we're making a slight color change. Same bait, but we're going with the green back, just to show them something a little bit different. I know there's fish here. I've had hits, I've had, had one fish. I feel like we're, I'm having trouble getting them to commit. Maybe this is the magic color. I use this a lot up on the outer cape beaches is kind of my go-to.
All right, folks, day one in the books. Not a total failure. We caught one 31 incher and we learned a ton. We learned that there's a ton of weeds sitting on the south side of the Cape right now. So you got to pick and choose your spots. You're going to have to use certain lures to prevent, uh, prevent weeds from getting all of your shit. So we learned something. We caught a fish, not a total failure on the board for 2023 Cape Cod. Feels good, man. Feels good. And that was a, that was a nice fish. That was a nice fish for, uh, for this time of year. That was a nice fish on light tackle. That was a fun fight. All right, folks. Well, that's all we got today. Thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, leave a comment, leave a like, subscribe if you want some more action just like this. And hopefully we'll have a little bit more coming for you uh, as we try to figure out the Cape this trip. So stay tuned. Oh, had a hit there. There we go. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. And there's another one. God, they're keen in on this, man. <laughs> we figured them out, baby. Holy smokes.